Hello there! In this video we will tell about some amazing finds of the Second World War. From the bottom of the Black Sea in the area of the Crimean Bridge, the first of the found Isle II attack aircrafts from the Second World War was lifted. Remains of the pilots were not found in the cockpit. In total, the search group discovered three Soviet Isle IIs at the bottom of the Black Sea. They are preserved in satisfactory condition and lie at a depth of about 10 meters in the area of the Kerch Strait. The search group will now establish the identity of the Isle II to aviation units, the names of the crew members and the date of their death. Probably the planes were shut down in 1943 during the Kerch-Altingen landing operation, carried out with the aim of liberating the Kerch Peninsula. And here is another Isle II found near Novorossiysk. They were looking for it for two years. Divers work at the place of discovery. They are trying to clear the storm troop of silt and get to the engine. This will help identify the aircraft by number. The work is complicated by the fact that the Isle II lies upside down. In addition, it's impossible to get the remains of the pilot to establish his identity. More than 36,000 Isle IIs were produced during the war. The Isle II was nicknamed the Flying Tank because of its reliability and effective attacks during the Second World War. The Germans called it Black Death. Archaeologists and divers will continue to work near the Crimea and Taman. Researchers are convinced that more than 2,000 objects of the Great Patriotic War are located in this area. In 2019, in the Prokhorovsky district near Belgorod, a search group discovered the German tank Panzerkampfwagen IV. The tank was hit during a grand battle of the Kursk Bulge in August 1943. Apparently, the ammunition exploded inside the tank and the hull was completely destroyed. The combat vehicle was of sand color, which indicated the arrival of this tank from the African Corps. The Germans were in a hurry to bring the tank into battle, that didn't even have time to apply a camouflage color. 722 – this number is clearly visible on the turret. It makes it possible to establish the entire combat path of the tank and the crew names. Despite the fact that such a tank was mass-produced and not unique, only a few remain now. It's impossible to assemble the whole machine from the found parts, but many elements can be used by restorers to recreate other similar tanks. Shortly before this, a turret from such a Panzerkampfwagen IV was found near Staria Skol city in excellent condition. The notorious Sichovka became the scene of fierce battles in 1942. For both the Red Army and the Wehrmacht, the Battle of Rzhev was a huge loss. A huge amount of abandoned equipment remained on the battlefield. But the country needed metal, and all captured weapons, including tanks, were sent for remelting. But one German Panzerkampfwagen III was lucky. He drowned in a swarm and was raised only in 2002. The tank was in excellent condition, the native color was perfectly preserved. There was a full ammunition, a machine gun, crew personal belongings and MP-40 assault rifles inside. Unfortunately, the fate of this tank is tragic. They plan to illegally sell it to Belarus. The tower and caterpillars were detained at the border while trying to export under the guise of scrap metal and after some time were sent to Moscow Museum. But the hull was nevertheless taken out and is currently exhibited in the Museum of Minsk with a fake turret. In February 2020, the tower of the legendary T-34 was taken out of the ground in the Belgorod region. The tank turret with number 31 was discovered by local residents in the village of Yakovleva. The search group of the Ognine Duga Club and the police arrived at the place of the find. After that, the turret of the tank was lifted by a crane from the ground, though without the upper part where the hatches were located. It looks like there was an explosion of the ammunition and the turret was blown up by an explosion. This is evidenced by the absence of the upper part of the turret. This could happen from an enemy shell hit, or the crew themselves could blow the T-34 up so that it wouldn't go to the enemy. After the swamp mud was washed away from the turret, it was discovered that there was no shutter or sight on the tank gun. 
Therefore, the searchers came to the conclusion that the tank was blown up by the crew during the forces' retreat in March 1943, when the Soviet troops had to leave Belgorod, which was liberated almost a month before.